Hi, I hope everyone is doing well. In this video, I am going to discuss equality of complex numbers and power raising of complex numbers. For the first part, suppose we have two distinct complex numbers, z1 and z2. These two numbers are said to be equal if and only if their respective real parts and imaginary parts are equal. For example, solve for the values of x and y from the equation quantity x plus jy multiplied by quantity 2 plus j4 equals 14 plus j8. Now to solve this problem, let us go ahead and simplify the left side of the equation. By distribution, we have 2x plus j4x plus j2y plus j squared 4y equals 14 plus j8. Now we know that the value of j is equal to square root of negative 1. Therefore, j squared is just equal to negative 1. Replace j squared with negative 1 to have 2x plus j4x plus j2y plus negative 4y equal to 14 plus j8. Now group like terms to have a complex number whose real part is equal to 2x minus 4y and whose imaginary part is equal to 4x plus 2y. To solve for the values of x and y, we equate the real parts and the imaginary parts of both the left hand and the right hand side of the equation. With that, we have 2x minus 4y equal to 14 and 4x plus 2y equal to 8. From this, the values of x and y should be equal to 3 and negative 2 respectively. Now, if you're going to check our original equation, with x equal to 3 and y equal to negative 2, the left side of the equation should be equal to the right hand side of the equation. And that's what we mean by equality of complex numbers. There are generally two types of power raising of complex numbers. The first one is when a complex number is raised to any real number such as z raised to the power of 4 and the second one is when a complex number is raised to another complex number like for example z1 raised to the power of z2. In the first of these, if a complex number is raised to any real number n, suppose you have a rectangular complex number a plus jb, to evaluate z raised to the power of n, we need to convert the rectangular a plus jb into its equivalent polar form so that we can make use of the formula z to the n equals r raised to the power of n angle theta times n. For example, evaluate quantity 1 plus j2 raised to the power of 100. To solve this problem, let us go ahead and convert 1 plus j2 to polar using our calculator 1 plus 2i equals shift 2, 3. The equivalent polar form of 1 plus j2 is equal to square root of 5 angle 63.43 degrees. Once we have this, now we're ready to use the formula r to the n angle theta times n. To simplify square root of 5 to the power of 100, which will then give us 8.88 times 10 to the power of 34, multiply 63.43 times 100, that is equal to 6,343.4. We can write our answer as 8.88 times 10 to the 34 angle 6,343. We can have this as our final answer, but we are almost always interested in having a final answer that is expressed in rectangular form. And to do that, just simply go ahead and type 8.88178 times 10 raised to the power of 34, angle 6343. When we press equal sign, it will automatically give us the equivalent rectangular form of our final answer. And we have negative 6.4436 times 10 to the 34 minus j 6.11 times 10 to the power of 34 is our final answer. Next, if we have a complex number raised to another complex number, suppose we have two complex numbers, z1 and z2 with their values a plus jb and c plus jd. If you want to raise z1 to the power of z2, you will end up with a plus jb raised to the power of c plus jd, where z1 is our base and z2 is our exponent. However, had it been the other way around, when z2 is raised to z1, then our base should be c plus jd and the exponent should be a plus jb. To solve this type of problem, we're going to follow two steps. The first one is convert the base to exponential form. Second, we're going to use algebra to completely solve the problem. For example, evaluate j raised to the power of j. Step 1. Convert the base j or 0 plus j to exponential form. We know that the equivalent exponential form of a complex number is given by the formula r exponential j theta where theta is in radian. The easiest way to find the values of r and theta in radian is when we convert 0 plus j to polar with our calculus set to radian 
mode shift setup press 4 convert 0 plus i to polar form shift 2 3 answer is 1 angle pi halves where r is equal to 1 and the angle theta in radian is equal to pi halves we can write our complex number 0 plus j in exponential form as 1 exponential j pi halves step 2 we can now use algebra to completely solve the problem so that on the right side of the equation i can have exponential j squared pi halves where j squared is just equal to negative 1 so we can have our final answer as exponential negative pi halves we can even use our calculator to really find the equivalent value of exponential negative pi halves which is equal to 0 0.20788 and we can have our final answer as 0 0.20788 next example given two complex numbers z1 and z2 whose values are 3 plus j4 and 1 plus j2 respectively determine z1 raised to z2 again for step 1 convert the base z1 in this case we have 3 plus j4 to exponential form using our calculator convert 3 plus 4i to polar form shift 2 3 our answer is 5 angle 0 0.9273 where r is equal to 5 and since the calculator is already set to radian the angle that it provides is already in radian and that's equal to 0 0.9273 now we can write 3 plus j4 in exponential form as 5 exponential j 0 0.9273 next is we're going to use algebra to really completely solve the problem if we are going to apply ln both sides of the equation we can have ln of z1 raised to the power of z2 on the left side and on the right side we can have our expression as 1 plus j2 ln quantity 5 exponential j 0.9273 now, if we focus our attention to the complex number 5 exponential j.9273 with an ln on the left side of it, we are actually looking at a logarithm of a complex number in exponential form. The reason why we converted 3 plus j4 into exponential form is because we can't just simply distribute ln to 3 plus j4 by having ln of 3 plus ln of j4. However, if the complex number is expressed in exponential, for example, we have a logarithm logarithm of an exponential equivalent of a complex number r exponential j theta we are able to distribute ln into our exponential complex number so that we can have a formula of ln r plus ln exponential j theta using this formula we can simplify the right side of the equation it becomes quantity 1 plus j2 multiplied by quantity ln 5 plus ln of exponential j 0 0.9273 or we can rewrite it in this way wherein we have quantity 1 plus j2 times ln of 5 plus j 0.9273 ln of e. However, since ln of e is just equivalent to 1, we can have our equation as ln z1 raised to the power of z2 equivalent to quantity 1 plus j2 times ln of 5 plus j 0.9273. And now we can use our calculator to multiply 1 plus j2 by quantity ln5 plus j0.9273. 1 plus 2i times ln5 plus 0.9273i in close negative 0.245 plus j4.146. For the next part, even though we have already simplified the right side of the equation, notice that on the left side, we still have ln of z1 raised to the power of z2. What we're really looking for is z1 raised to z2. That's why we need to remove ln by applying exponential on both sides of the equation. Now we can cancel out ln from the left side. However, on the right side of the equation, it becomes exponential of that complex number that we've previously solved. To simplify things out, on the left side, we have z1 raised to the power of z2, but this time on the right side of the equation, we need to simplify this a little bit further so that we can have exponential negative 0.245 multiplied by exponential j 4.146. The good thing about exponential negative 0.245 is that it's already a constant number. The number exponential j 4.146 is actually another exponential form of a complex number whose r is equal to 1 and whose angle theta in radian is equal to 4.146. Next is we are going to convert 1 exponential j 4.146 4.146 to its equivalent polar form so that we can then use our calculator to multiply these two numbers. To convert 4.146 to degrees, multiply this number by 180 over pi. Now that we have this on the right side of the equation, multiply these two numbers using your calculator 
exponential negative 0.245 times 1 angle 237.558375 and then press equal sign you can have your final answer as negative 0.4198 minus j 0.66